So for the longest time, I've had this theory that A.H. possibly had some influence when it came to Evan Rachel Wood naming Manson. Now, if you aren't familiar with the Manson case, then I highly recommend watching Colonel Kurtz's YouTube channel, watching my latest video on it, or going onto Instagram accounts like Stand By Your Manson, Marilyn Manson Uncancelled, and other accounts like that. Because you will find that the facts are much different than what the media is presenting. Now, first of all, Amber and Evan know one another to start with, which I think we've all thought the same thing when it comes to this, that maybe it simply isn't a coincidence that these two women know one another, and the fact that they're both publicly naming their former partners as perpetrators and happen to be friends. Not only friends, but they have some connections that we're going to discuss a little bit more later on. Now, before I continue, I would deeply appreciate it if you could please hit the subscribe button and like this video. This really, really helps feed the algorithm for this video and get it out into the world so that more people can know the truth. Now, if you think about the kind of person AH is, you'll quickly realize how manipulative and calculating of an individual she is. Just ask JD. So in this statement, it says, Depp said AH was calculating, sociopathic, and a narcissist. He also claimed, I am now convinced that she came into my life to take everything from me and then destroy what remained of it. So my theory is that I don't believe A.H. had a large role within Evan speaking out about Manson, even if she did have one to begin with. But rather, I believe that A.H. probably has had some conversations with Evan about it, and possibly encouraged Evan to go forward with it, now, as I mentioned previously, A.H. is a very manipulative person and can be very, very convincing when she wants to be, which is why I'm led to believe that this could be very possible, that she sort of nudged Evan to go through with this. So about a year ago, A.H. shared this article about Manson on Twitter after she had this huge meltdown and went crazy on people and saying things like, shut up. So her tweet says... And yet, no one sees the trend here. Everyone wants to tag a bathroom wall. No one wants to understand the writing. Evan and I aren't the first to raise our hands. Are you done ignoring it? Now, I know people are constantly trying to pin things on AH and connect her to things that she may or may not be connected to. For example, the whole Jason Momoa controversy. You know, personally, I don't think she had anything to do with it, but basically what I'm trying to say is people will sometimes jump to conclusions and be like, oh yeah, I definitely know she did this. But the fact that AH basically proudly advertises this article tells me that it's very possible that she had a chat with Evan before these allegations came out. Now, I'm not saying that AH told her step by step what to do. I'm not saying any of that. I'm not even saying I know for a fact that they had a conversation or that A.H. influenced her. If you just think about it, one of the biggest parallels between Evan's story and A.H.'s story is that Evan heavily emphasizes Manson's past issues with substances. One of the statements Evan makes in her testimony is that she was forced to consume substances and that Manson hid his dependence on substances and alcohol from her. Now, a quick side note, these claims were fully proven to be false. There are pictures of Evan with angel dust, wink wink, and there are many people who were around Evan and Manson when she did these things. So basically what I'm trying to say is that Evan did not tell the truth about these stories. Now if you think back to AH's statements, AH and her legal team heavily relied on Depp's issues with substances and alcohol in the UK trial. Unfortunately, Heard was successful and won the UK trial as a result of this. Obviously, this could simply be a coincidence, but at the same time, I don't think Evan is dumb, and she's definitely aware that AH won the UK trial, and she could have had plenty of time to study it and use this as sort of a loose template for what she wanted to do herself. Honestly, I would even go as far to say that Evan is smarter than AH just based on how she conducts herself. And once again, I want to make it clear how important it is to realize 
Substance dependency has literally nothing to do with the way you treat your partner. This is like saying that you struggle with food dependency, which some people do struggle with. Being dependent on food or any kind of substance for that matter is a complete separate issue than how you actually treat your partner. It's very, very frustrating to see this tactic used time and time again when we all struggle in some way at some point in our life with our own demons. So some more important information I thought I'd talk about is how Evan was a donor of Time's Up, which you probably already know is for SA and DV survivors. One of the founders of Time's Up is Roberta Kaplan, who is AH's former lawyer. Now, if you know anything about Kaplan, you'll know that she is a complete Fruit Loop hypocrite and disgrace to the Time's Up movement. It seems that she believes women can do no wrong and that men are always guilty of what women accuse them of. I mean, she publicly runs her mouth about how Depp is a terrible person when we all know that is not the truth. So here's a tweet that shows you the character of this Fruit Loop. So it says, if JD could do this to AH, imagine what happens every single day to the millions of other women out there who have been blanked or blanked and are not famous actresses and don't have the resources to hire lawyers to defend them. But court proceedings applying long-standing rules like the rules of evidence have a way of shining the light on what really happened. As Justice Brand... Brandis, I, I don't know what that says. Once said, sunlight is the best disinfectant. Well, to me, that tells me she could benefit from standing outside in the sunlight because this woman is honestly kind of a disease, if you ask me. Now, basically, what I'm getting at here is that I don't believe it's a stretch at all for Evan and AH to have had conversations with one another, considering the fact that they're both in association with movements that in some ways seem to promote falsely accusing people and actually getting away with falsely accusing people. It seems very coincidental, don't you think? And another thing I want to mention is that Manson and JD are best friends, which I don't think this has much of a connection as some people may think, but you never know. Now, obviously, these are not things I can prove to be 100% true or factual, but I feel it's definitely worth mentioning considering I don't really believe in coincidences anymore. I do not believe that Evan Rachel Wood is telling the truth about the things she's accused Manson of, nor do I believe the other accusers so far. I'd be really curious to see if any more information comes out about any kind of possible connection between AH and Evan, but until then, I guess we can just theorize. So I'm going to have more videos about the details of Manson's case coming up soon. I'm actually going to be doing a stream with Linda on Monday, January 24th, so be on the lookout for that. We're going to be discussing the legal aspects of this case, and Linda can answer any questions regarding that. So I really appreciate you all for watching this video. Again, if you can subscribe, I would really appreciate that if you're not already subscribed. And if you could like this video, that'll really help the algorithm. Thank you so much, and I'll see you next time.